G'day and welcome back to Duck Solid Gaming and our Let's Play series on Beaver Creek. This is episode 3 and we're still in the preparation stages of our fields in, uh, and getting ready for planting. So what we are doing in uh, this late part of the second game day, the second day of early spring, um, we are just going to refill our manure spreaders and uh, head over and finish off uh, plowing a couple of the other fields we haven't done yet. So uh, let's reverse these two guys up and start unloading. Sorry, loading, I should say. All right, so he's off and running. Him up. One thing I do like about this uh, manure, placeable manure mod, where we can buy our manure is uh, we can fill up the two trailers simultaneously. All right, so what else we got going on? Uh, up the top here, we have our class area on doing laps and loops. We'll have to fix that. He's uh, making a bit of a mess of our, uh, our field there. What was he up to? Don't know. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll have to manually just fix him up. Won't take us too long. So we'll plow this field up and then uh, we'll head on over, grab the other, the two Fent tri sixes and head over to uh, the fields we're going to do, which I'll bring up in a short tick when I just get around this, uh, this bend here and continue on. All right, put him on uh, cruise control. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to head over to fields two, three, and four and uh, get some manure on those and get them ploughed and then uh, we'll be good to go ready to plant as soon as that uh, that ground, ground temperature reaches five degrees we'll be off and running with our with our planting as you can see our uh, weather forecast is uh, what we expect that here at ducks all the gaming we have rain every day through uh, through spring so um, but that's okay it's not going to affect us uh, with uh, the ploughing and all that sort of stuff. It will affect us um, if we're har harvesting, but uh, that's not the case at the moment. So uh, that's okay, it can rain all it likes, as long as it doesn't rain like this uh, when we're trying to harvest our fields. All right, so away we go. It's lovely being on this map, another, another great uh, map from Stevie, as you're all well aware by now. So, uh, Oh, as I was just looking at my tablet instead of looking at my screen, and I've gone off the trail. So I can fix him up quickly. Um, yeah, so we're uh, we're just going to get started. I might, um, like I said, I think in the in the second episode we'll uh, look at possibly getting our composter started, um, and we'll buy some more manure and uh, see if we can get one of the um, or some of the greenhouses up and running. Just to generate that little bit of extra income uh, while we're waiting for our harv our well waiting for our full harvest to, to come through. So obviously our seeding and uh, planting and um, harvesting. I mean, but uh, yeah, give us a bit of extra income. Um, and also, uh, once we get to the point of harvesting, we'll then get our biogas and all that running, so we can start uh, manufacturing our own fertilizer and uh, and fuel. So it. Uh, reduces our daily operating costs which are quite significant if you uh, if you don't actually run those um, it'd be quite interesting to see the difference you could do a parallel side by side of um, the benefits obviously of, of making your own fertilizer uh, and your seeds from your from your seed master 2017 and um, and your fuel because uh, at the end of the day the the cost at, at there is in, in prepping the field and, and planting the field and then harvesting it um, would well and truly be outweighed by the uh, the gain in gain in less spending. Does that make sense? Gain in less spending of um, on your fuel, seeds, and uh, fertilizer for future harvests and uh, preparation. All right. So we're just going to crest the hill. We've just got that little bit over on the left-hand side there to do. And then we can go and collect our uh, our fence. 
and um, we'll convoy them all along over to the other fields and we'll, we'll get all them started. So a uh, bit of good news coming out of uh, out of Three News Gaming Network. Uh, my good friend Jerry Grizzly Bear Sims, he's back. For, he's been uh, had a bit of time away with family and, and work and stuff, but uh, he did post a post a message on the Three News Gaming Network that uh, he hopes to do an update, get that uploaded for tomorrow. Um, that's all well and good. I understand he was uh, in the time that he's been gone, he hasn't sort of ha had a chance to get back onto his. Um, gameplay on what was it Snedderton's he's playing Stevie Snedderton's map for his 24 day seasons challenge and he was saying he's, I sent him a private message just to make sure everything was okay and checking in on him as as I was tend to do and uh, he was saying that it wasn't working he was having trouble with the gates so uh, so hopefully he's he's now got that to work and uh, he'll be able to continue on with that so it's uh, that'll be good to go so looking forward to seeing uh, Jerry back on air and uh, doing what he does best. Well, it's not necessarily what he does best, but what he does a good job of, and that's uh, putting out his YouTube content. And hopefully he won't be too offended with my course play video that I put out, because uh, probably wasn't as good as what he would do, but uh, when you're in a pinch, you uh, you put something out there. So uh, he'll undoubtedly update his course play mods tutorials at some point, I would imagine, with the new course play functions. Oh, sorry. Yes, course play. Oh, my head's not in it today. My head's not in it. All right. So I'll go over and collect these guys and then um, head over. My glance is turned down again. I'll just turn that back up. There we go. All right. So they're both full of manure, ready to go. All right. Grab him. Some of the little mods, I guess, that uh, goes without saying are, um, are a great addition to the game, aren't they? Like your, your Follow Me mod. Can you imagine what it'd be like um, on, on some of the maps where if you didn't have Follow Me, like even even the basic simple stuff like um, without running multiple course play courses, having a track uh, with a baler running behind a, um, a combine harvester. So it's automatically uh, bailing up the... Uh, the the swath that's left behind from the harvester, um, all that sort of stuff is just fantastic. And the fact that we can um, want to know so you too. Oh. And and just the fact that we can we can do this, we can be transporting multiple units together. Well, you just got to be careful because sometimes they do go a bit erratic. So I make sure the other fence catches up. So heading down here, we're going to hit uh, two, three, and four. So what we'll do is we'll uh, what we might do is we'll put the um, newer spreaders on three and four, and we'll just start ploughing two um, and go from there. Now, what you're going to have to watch with these sort of maps too, where the fields are fairly close and there's nothing between them, is um, if you have your your units on AI. I mean, you know, in a way, thankfully there's trees trees in between but doesn't also well, it doesn't always going to uh, to save the day um, you gotta watch your AI if you don't already know because sometimes um, you will find that the AI will think that it's just an extension it keeps on going and it'll start doing the other the other uh, field next to it so you go to, uh, to plow one field then all of a sudden you've found you've plowed over the other field that you've just got ready to uh, to harvest so you've got this nice big corn field for instance that's ready to harvest you're ploughing the field next to it, and all of a sudden, you've um, you've lost out. As I've just, uh, that's okay. We'll pull in here. All right. Yeah. So you could you could lose the field, and that's that's not an ideal situation, obviously. All right. So we've got these guys over here now. We'll bring him over now. Orientate him for the best length, which is going to be this one. 
So we'll just get him going with a uh, standard AI. It's a haste to get him going. He unfolds and away he goes. Now this guy here. We're going to take him to field three. Whatever's there on there. Ah, oh, actually no we won't. We'll, we'll take him over. We can just dump him off as we get there. All right. Darkness is quickly approaching. Six o'clock in our game day. So I might just uh, so I'll leave it on one at the moment. Not going to make much difference. So you can see the other guy there. He's uh, powering away down the uh, down the hill, getting the manure spread. This is where we'll uh, tuck him here and drop the zero on off. I just dropped him off and we'll just come up here and we'll get this guy going with a AI worker there he goes, he's away and we'll just go down here and grab our Zerion so what we'll have to do with this field is because we're not uh, laying the manure down we'll have to uh, come over and give him an extra dose of fertiliser that's okay Give us some light. And away we go. So by the time I have this ploughed, they will probably be about halfway through. Which is okay. So we'll do this one manually, see how we go. See how poorly we can uh, line up our furrows. Oh, there we go. Yawning for Beaver Creek episodes now too, which is good. And you wouldn't realise that it's only midday. Anyway. I'm suffering a bit of insomnia at the moment, which doesn't really sort of help. But uh, it sort of helps with doing late, late night editing, but um, it doesn't help during the, the next day. Um, unfortunately, that's just something we deal with. So uh, hopefully I'll be over that soon enough. Not that I'm a heavy sleeper anyway, I normally only have about six to seven hours sleep a day. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go. <clears throat> so we've got a couple of, uh, as I mentioned in our last episode, might have been the episode on um, Sherwood Park Farm actually. We've got a couple of videos coming out this week. Um, which will be out before this one. So we would have just released uh, two mod reviews, one on the uh, Ropa Panther, what was it, the Panther 2 and the Tiger 6 uh, sugar beet harvesters, and also on the new Crone uh, Forage Harvester, which is the Crone Big X, I think it was 480 through 630. Um, which is a, a great little model and that's certainly one that I'm going to buy for, for using on this map um, when we get enough money behind us we need to have a forage a harvester um, that's the one we're going to use on here in the limited edition livery so uh, keep an eye out for those and obviously we're continuing on with our Beaver Creek and Sherwood Park Farm series um, as I've mentioned in my last episode on Sherwood Park Farm we are temporarily putting a hiatus on broad acres, um, primarily because I know that Ben and the, his team have been working very hard on, on getting the, the modifications and the, and the fixes done for the version two map that will be coming out. Um, and because it will need a new save game, uh, and because it is such a big map, I don't want to progress too far in and have to, uh, to start again. So. Because all we've done in that series at the moment is done the introduction to the map and sort of shown off everything, um, we haven't actually started harvesting. We're just about to harvest field three. We're, we're not going to do that now. We're going to wait until he releases uh, field two. Then we'll be able to do a quick snappy review of the changes and then uh, get straight into the farming. So um, that's the plan for that. Um, 
because I feel there's nothing worse than uh, getting started and having to, to restart again, uh, especially if you're doing it as a YouTube series. So um, that's the plan. So I, I again, as I did in Sher the Sherwood Park Farm series, I apologise to anyone that was waiting for those to continue on. Um, but as soon as Ben has uh, version 2 released, then uh, we'll get cracking back on that map again. Um, I must say too, actually, Victor, I think it's Victor Aubrey, um, has been doing a lot of work on, on the mods, on the toll trucks and other stuff and, and that for the map too. And they are looking great. Um, they're getting better and better every time. Every time he, he does a mod to them, I've changed to them. So uh, looking forward to get back in there, certainly. So, um, yeah, and of course we've got, uh, Steve, he's got another map coming out again. Um, I think Ringwoods, uh, Ringwood Seasons. So uh, looking forward to that one hitting the streets as well. I don't know how far off that one is. I've, I've obviously, having only just finished this map, he wouldn't be... Uh, that close to finishing it although I believe um, although I haven't confirmed it with him I might actually ask him I might send him a message and ask him but I believe Ringwoods must might have been a, a farming simulator 15 or, or earlier map that he's done because um, it sounds like he's just sort of bringing it over um, which is fine but considering the only farming simulator game I have played is 17 um, I'm not aware of it if it was in an earlier version so uh, it doesn't matter it's all new to me anyway um, but as I've always said doesn't matter if it's coming from Stevie we'll check it out anyway all right so we've finished this one off all right so flying through that one what we'll do is we'll fold him up and what we might do is we uh, we might go and put him on this this map here on this field here on this map um, and we'll put him on auto, put him on an AI, and uh, just get him going. So what we might do is we might just uh, have a look. So yeah, I think I think we'll initially we'll definitely be planting a potato on sugar beet uh, field. Not sure which one we'll do that yet. Um, and we'll certainly be, be planting at least one of each of the wheat, barley, and canola. Uh, we'll also do a sunflower when that comes up. Well, also radish not going to worry about, obviously. Um, and then we'll be waiting for the soybeans and corn to be able to do. Um, so, yeah. All right. So we'll set him off. So now we've got three workers uh, happily running around. And what we will do is we will just head back down here to the farm. And see what's got going on down here. Now, I think we're pretty much right for actually what we might do. That is what we'll do. We'll uh, get the seed master going. So let's uh, let's grab some of the feed, some of the grains out of the silos, and uh, get our seed master running so as we can refill our seeder. Um, without having to spend any more money. Um, yeah, we'll just use some wheat. We're going to have to give this a couple of different loads. Now, the only other thing is uh, we will have to buy the liquid fertilizer to get that going because we haven't got any liquid fertilizer stored up. So uh, that's okay. A little bit of cost to get going to save more money. All right, so I'll dump him in here. So I'll give him a couple of couple of decent loads in there. It's only an 8,500 litre trailer, so uh, it's not going to be a huge amount in there. So we'll get it, uh, say, three loads. That'll give us um, 2,500 thereabouts litres of, uh, of seed. And then we'll put some uh, fertiliser in there. Although I don't know that I've got a fertiliser capable trailer. Oh, I see, I do. I've got the, um, got the custom road trains over there, so I can fill that up. 
So we'll do that. I'll float him there. Now obviously this won't produce a hell of a lot of seed. It'll be enough to, to run a seeder for one or two fields. So I have to keep on uh, stocking it up or alternatively we'll have to buy the seed. Um, so we'll just uh, see how things go. Try to be as self-sufficient as we possibly can. What we'll do now is use a... Let's, go on, eh? Let's find out. I'm not sure, because I've, I've not used these that much, actually, in all honesty. Um, it's only really in Sherwood Park Farm. I started using it there, and I've only sort of... I've got it all. I've got plenty of seeds being produced, but I haven't really been using much of the, uh, the filling up from it. Um, because when we first started, we only used it after we did our first lot of seeding anyway. So, um, anyway, I'm just going to see if I can dump a mixture of seed into here. I'm assuming I should be able to. Yeah, so it doesn't discriminate, which is all right. So I don't have to uh, whittle down the stocks of one particular type of seed. All right, we'll do one more load, another load of barley in there, and then uh, we'll get some liquid fertilizer. And, uh, and that'll have the cedar up and running for us. It's a great addition, actually. It's one of those little things that um, I'm annoyed at myself a little bit that I haven't used it previously, but uh, but then again, it's not been that much of an impact. But uh, certainly, if you're trying to um, to save money and, and and run your farm as profitable as as you can without sort of cheating your money, all that sort of stuff. Um, it's definitely a, um, a great tool to have. And I mean, I, I know for all the hours I put into Pine Cove, um, geez, I don't know, I, I reckon I've easy put in, oh, it'd be well over 600, 700 hours in Pine Cove, easily. Um, and yeah, I, I never touched them once, even though they were, they were there on the farm, I, uh, I never used them once. Actually, let's turn them off. All right. Got the K100, and we'll go over and grab one of our trailers, and we'll um, we'll buy some liquid fertilizer and fill that cedar up. We'll just take the A trailer. We don't need the A and the B. I'm not going to worry about shuffling around just to get the B. Right. Okay. So let's go see if we can buy bulk from our fertilizer outputs here. There we go. Load him up. It's to take a little bit of time because he's uh, what 40,000 litre capacity, I think, for this one. Unfortunately, there goes some of our money, but anyway, that's the way it is. So let's have a look and see on the map how our guys are going. Uh, yeah, our plough is catching up quite quickly, but uh, it should be right for now. He's running at a good uh, 10 or so kilometres an hour quicker than the manure spreader. Plus the fact he turns a lot better. That's all right. We're almost full. Off we go. And off we go. So now, our fertiliser is filling up. And then we should start getting an output of seed ready to go. So effectively, it's fairly basic, isn't it, really, when you think about what it's doing. It's just taking some, some grain um, seeds, 
adding the fertilizer to it and then basically you just use that as your planting seeds obviously in real life you wouldn't be mixing seeds because always your, your your end crop would be a mixture of all different crops but uh for the simplistic sake of the the game and getting it all up and running then that's fine and then if i sent the time scale up a bit quicker we'll start seeing some production out through there but in any case at the moment we've uh oh, we filled that up have we okay must have yep all right so we'll turn him off and leave him there because he'll offload the rest of that when he's finished all right so we'll wander back up and go check and see how everything's going up here I say wander, we're sprinting quite quickly, but anyway. So this guy here is, uh, he's almost finished over there. What level is he at? He's very low, he might uh, run out before he finishes. In fact, he will. Both of them will probably run out before they're finished. And we'll head over here to our other bloke over here. What we'll do is we'll stop him. What we'll do is we'll, we'll let him finish here and then we'll stop him. So we'll just turn him around so he's ready to go. Okay. Shut him down. What we'll do is we'll go grab this guy and we'll turn him off AI as well and uh, we'll progress take him back and he can uh, fill up manure again but what we'll do is we'll uh, do the filling up in the next episode we'll make this uh, a relatively short and sweet episode because uh, I have tended to uh, get them a bit too long and I know that uh, doesn't hurt the uh, doesn't help the uh, the viewers that uh, just can't spend the time to do it or, uh, or whatever for whatever the other reason um, so we'll just take this guy over and refill and loop on there so yeah so what we'll do is we'll do this one we'll finish this uh, refilling off camera and then when we come back we can finish off those fields and uh, and hopefully we'll have um, enough temperature in the ground to start our sowing so thank you very much for joining me here on Beaver Creek uh, if you've liked the video and you like the content, then please press that like button. Just gives me an indication that uh, there's something out there that I enjoy actually taking note of, of what I'm actually putting out, which is fine. It just keeps me uh, enthusiastic about doing it. Uh, if not, that's all well and good as well. If you want to hit the dislike button, not a problem. And as Farmer Klein says, it's still a, it's still a view. Um, but uh, all I ask is uh, if you are going to put a dislike, just drop me a note and just tell me why um, is it because I suck or whatever else I don't care just uh, give me a reason and then I can uh, try and make sure that uh, I improve it in some way shape or form to try and remove those uh, dislikes not that I can remove them but you know what I mean anyway and of course to my subscribers thank you very much for your continued support if you're not already a subscriber please press the subscribe button which will be coming up on your screen any second now and, uh, and join us for the fun and frivolity that we have here in Farming Simulator 17. So until next time we catch up on Sherwood Park Farm or Beaver Creek or a Let's Play, si uh, sorry, a mod review, this is Duxorley Gaming wishing you a wonderful day, night, evening, morning, wherever it is you are. See you later. Bye.